What's going on, ladies and gents? Randy here with RTS Mobile Gaming, here with our guest star, Lux. She is ready to rock and roll, kicking me in the leg. Anyways, in today's short video, we just got an amazing report from Black for the Lord of the Rings Rise to War, where we are looking at a nicely geared level 47 Witch King versus a nicely, ge well, terribly geared, but half decently geared, uh, level 45 Celeborn on a 260 power tile. Now this is the first time I've seen Celeborn in the wild with his VIP March Warden units. Celeborn, as we know, his R5 tree is absolutely insane. If you're using March Wardens as Lothlorien, you will be putting out more damage than the Witch King um, with the right build. Now I want to point out, this is not quite the right build. This Celeborn has a decent build, but it's not the optimal build for the March Wardens, and his gear is terrible. Having said that, even with terrible gear and not an optimized build, with only 1,800 March Wardens, should be closer to 3,000, with only 1,800 March Wardens, his March Wardens were able to deal, check this out, 215,000 damage, guys. Enormous damage capabilities from the March Wardens there. So let's take a real quick look at his build and the report, and we'll go from there, okay? We'll talk about recommendations and things that change. First, he's got the Noldor Sword, which is completely useless for this commander, other than it gives his March Wardens plus two attack. Uh, that amplification bonus is really not great. You're going to want to use something that gives plus three attack and 9% range damage, like the Mirkwood Bow. Okay? Um, or the Elven Dagger gives 9% range damage with no plus attack, and it gives you good focus. All right? Uh, for the chess piece, he's got uh, focus and defense. This is not terrible. This is actually a decent chess piece. Uh, it'll help your March Wardens live forever. Okay. For the hat, the Grey Wizard hat, some more good focus here. Uh, but then we have bonuses to cavalry, so really not an optimized helmet. It's a half decent helmet with some HP and focus. And then lastly, the Fiddle of the Eldest. This, again, gives some good defense and focus, but it has the hus husbandry buff. So Fiddle of the Eldest can be set up to have some really nice cleansing and healing buffs, right? Um, I think that would be the optimal condition for this, okay? Uh, gear, uh, skill-wise, right, he doesn't have Guide maxed out. If Guide was maxed out, his March Wardens would have 45% bonus damage for the first two rounds. Very, very key. That pairs beautifully with the Lord of Lorien, the Tier 5 uh, skill tree here, which for the first two rounds give the March Wardens a bunch more bonus damage, as well as Initiative, okay? And this is modified by the Focus stat, down here, okay? Uh, he should have one point in his uh, his his wisdom, uh, his other uh, R0 tree there, in order to get uh, Madness Immunity for the March Wardens, okay? And then he's got uh, Fire Information for 10% damage, and Elven Leader for 25% chance to double strike. Lux over here is very upset. She wants to know why Kanda has not playing with her. Booga, 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 booga. Booga, 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 booga. We're taking a little detour from the video, guys. Booga, 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 booga. There's a cat. <sighs> okay, she's got the cat. I, got a, I have about two more minutes of free time before she starts screaming. Um, into the R3 tree, Grey Elf is going to be very nice, right? Uh, shield training is going to be great. And then Dead Eye, of course, is phenomenal. So um, the skills, I would say, they're about... Uh, I'd say they're about 70% optimized. The gear is about 70% optimized. So there's a, there's a, a room for 30% growth on this character, okay? Actual damage-wise, guys, what did that even look like? I don't even know. I haven't opened this report yet. We're going to read this together for the first time. All right. Here we go. The March Wardens, okay, they are going to get Pursuit, and they are going to get uh, Initiative here. Right, from the R5 tree. So they just punched the Corsairs in the face for 24k damage output. Pretty decent there. Not too bad. Uh, would have been much better with Guide maxed out. Okay. The Corsairs coming in hot and heavy, hitting the Keepers. The Halberdiers hitting the Keepers. Alchemists hitting the Keepers. Okay. Keepers are taking all the damage because they are on the front line there. Here in round two, ladies and gentlemen... Another single attack without a double here. 24k damage again on the Alchemists. Pretty decent damage output there. And again, uh, you should have about double the number of March Wardens, right? I said closer to 3,500 uh, 3, to 3, March Wardens. 
um, is the optimal build here. And they only had 1875 in that March. So um, you're going to see a 60% damage increase from that, plus the additional 30% upside from optimizing the gear and skills. You're going to almost see double the amount of damage output. You should see in the 40K damage range for rounds one and two. Okay. The keepers are definitely getting beat up here in round two. They should be dead by the end of round three, I imagine. Here we go. Here we go. The March Wardens. The March, the March Wardens are losing some... Something's happening. I don't know what's happening. Why is the Keepers losing? The Keepers lost their defense percent from Celeborn's Barrier. Is the Barrier only a two round? Two round? I thought the Barrier's more than two rounds. What is that? How interesting. All right, so they're losing their defense. Oh, that's from the from the chest. Okay, that's the Methyl chest. I got it now. I understand. I understand. Here are the March Wardens. They are now losing their damage plus. Okay, check. They are losing their physical damage plus. Check. They're losing their... Uh, oh, they did gain follow-up. So here in round three, we have 33,000 damage output from the double strike. So between the first three rounds, we're now at just about uh, 85, 90,000 damage output in the first three rounds. So it's pretty decent, guys. It's pretty decent. It's unavoidable. Very, very nice. March Warns again with another double strike here for another 33,000 damage there. Now we're up to, what, 120,000 damage in the first four rounds? Not optimized, right? That'll be closer to 200,000 damage in the first four rounds when optimized. Um, so, I mean, guys, that's that's the build. I mean, that's the video. What an interesting combination. Not an optimized army, right? Oops. Not an optimized gear set, not an optimized skill set, but still able to... Bring in the pain, bring in the rain, and uh, rain in the pain <laughs> down on Black Switch King. So, all right, you saw it here. You know what to do. You heard my recommendations to improve this. You know how strong he's going to be with March Wardens. I love you, long time. Randy out.